my name is Paige. Welcome to my September TBR with a little bit of an update. <laughs> so I have been loving my TBR jar game, but my issue has been not actually finishing the books that I pull with my TBR jar prompts. And I want to rectify that quite a lot because I I have been struggling with a little bit of motivation lately in wanting to read. All I do recently is play sims so I need to get myself back into the habit of reading more and get myself into other better habits in my life but we're just talking about reading here. <laughs> I thought it would be pretty fun to try and pull in a board game element to my TBR jar but not in a way to help me pick my prompts but in a way to show what I have completed after each month. So I made this board game to try and track all of the books that I read but I will go into more explanation on this after I do a little bit of housekeeping from August. So for my August TBR jar I needed to finish all five of these books and I have finished all but this one. So there are still five days left in the month so I'm pretty positive I can read this. It's also a TJ Klune so I'm gonna fly through it because I love his writing so much. But I did complete all four of these and I also completed these two books for the Enneagram Readathon. So in total I have finished six books and I will pretty positively finish that seventh book in the next couple of days as long as I'm not playing Sims. Back to this game that I have created. So I want to really encourage myself to read the books that I pull my prompts for and in doing so I want to give myself a bit of a reward eventually when I have taken a huge chunk of my TBR books and gotten them off my shelf because I finally finally read them. It is a dream of mine to not have a hundred books on my TBR cards so I do need to get reading and I need to be finishing all of the books that I pull for my TBR game and with this I figured I need to have some rules. So I wrote some down, I'll make them prettier later, but pretty much for every one TBR jar prompt that I finish, I get to move one space. Simple enough. But for every non-TBR jar pick, like Punk 57 and Gravity of Us this month, I would need to finish two non-TBR books to move one space. Are you following me? But it can't all be positive, right? So for every incomplete prompt, I need to pull a challenge or mystery prompt which I haven't created yet because I was playing too much Sims, but I need to draw a mystery card. And then a failure to complete that mystery card means that I will need to move back a mystery number of spaces. And we can figure that out if we ever get to that point. I feel like this is pretty simple. I move a space on the board for every TBR prompt I pick. For every two non-TBR jar books that I read, I get to move a space. And then there are consequences for all of the TBR jar prompts that I don't read in the month. So for example, I finished four of my five TBR jar prompts from last month. So I get to move four spaces forward. But for non-TBR books, I finished two. So I get to move one space forward because two of these books equals one space. So I get to move five spaces forward on my board game. But I do need your help coming up with ideas for what I can reward myself with once I get to the end of this game. There are 55 spaces, which means I technically might have to read at least 50 or so books to get to the end. But what should I reward myself with when I get there? So if you have any ideas for that, leave them in the comments and I will figure it out as we go. I am way far away from getting to that 55 mark. so. We have some time to figure out what I'm aiming for. <laughs> but because I didn't finish my one book for my TBR jar, I do need to kind of take a consequence, which is where I'm pulling the mystery cards, which I don't have made yet. But for this month, I'm going to add an extra pull for my TBR jar. So I was originally going to pull four. I will be pulling five this month. But this is another thing I do need help with. I have been trying to come up with ideas for challenges that I can create into these mystery cards, and I'm taking inspiration from Caitlin at the Lit Review where she has challenge cards where she has to annotate a book in that month and if she fails to annotate the book there's another consequence later. Things like reading every day and updating that on Instagram or something fun like painting the edges of my books. I don't know I want some ideas for any challenges book related things that I can do in that month that can be either a consequence or even something just fun that's bookish related that can be on all of those mystery cards and if I don't complete them in the month Month, then there's that consequence of needing to move backspaces on my game which would mean I would need to read even more to get to the end. I hope any of this is making sense. I was a teacher once so I'm trying my best to pull that out to explain this 
in a very thorough way but i think we'll figure this out as we go so with that all being said let's get to a little bit more housekeeping and then i will start pulling my prompts so some of the books that i am already planning to read in september are all of these tj clune books the bones beneath my skin tell me it's real mermation and how to be a normal person as well as these four books that i am going to be using in a secret tbr video hopefully as long as i can keep my reading on track so let's pull prompts all right prompt number one <sighs> we have to draw an extra prompt <laughs> i have no words okay we'll be doing six so prompt number one. Oh, this is for an among us color challenge in my bullet journal that i very rarely use right now i wanted to read books of certain colors so i'm gonna go grab that and see which colors i have not finished yet this is my Among Us color challenge that I was trying to complete. I have finished Rune and Rising, Tank Hint, Danny Brown, A Wish Upon the Star, Siege and Storm, Shadow and Bone, Becoming, and Six of Crows for all of these colors right here. I did just recently finish Akatar and a, a Vow So Bold and Deadly, so that fits for red. But I do still need dark green and it looks like purple. So. I think I'm gonna go with the purple book. To make things a little bit easier for myself in the month, I am going to be picking this graphic novel, When the Stars Are Scattered, by Victoria Jameson and Omar Mohammed. Okay, I just read the back of this and it sounds super touching. It's about a boy named Omar who is living with his brother Hassan in a refugee camp, and they're in a refugee camp that is not able to really provide them with access to medical care so Omar wants to make sure that their future is better and he gets the opportunity to go to school but in doing so he has to leave his brother every single day to go to school so I guess it's about that worry of his brother not being okay because his brother is nonverbal and needs a lot of care and him Omar needing to go out and try and make their future better so it sounds super touching a story about brotherhood that I just Think sounds really incredible. I have heard great things about this too, so I am very excited to read this one. All right, prompt two of six. We have the last letter to the first letter, which means that the last letter of the book that I just picked needs to be the first letter of the next book that I picked. So when the stars are scattered, it ends with a D, so I need to find a book that starts with D. So the only book that I have that starts with the letter D is Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Coram. I meant to read this in another TBR, and it's one of the reasons why I'm adding this element of the board game in because I didn't finish it. I didn't even start it. So I am finally going to read this one and it is about a boy named Darius who has clinical depression and I guess his family takes a trip to Iran and when he is there he meets a boy and it seems like they fall in love. So I am very excited for this. I've heard great things about the book as a whole and for the mental health representation in this. I can't say that <laughs> phrase very easily but the mental health representation in this I guess is very very good so this will be my poll for this one poll number three of six let's go this one Ooh, okay this is a five star prediction okay for this book I might regret this later because it's a big one but I am going to pull A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. I just read Akatar for the first time and I had a really fun time and I really did like it I give it about four stars I would say but I've heard that this second book is like the deal it is everything that everyone loves about this entire series it is what I have heard of since I joined booktube since i found booktube this book is it this is the pinnacle of what booktube is to me so i feel like i am a pretty easy to please reader in some instances and stuff like this usually just gets five stars for me because i don't know i buy into the hype a lot so i predict that i will give this five stars if only because i will have finished it and will know what everyone is referencing and what they have read before and i will be in on that club so this is my five star prediction i hope i like it pull four of six we have an ebook. Alright, so I have been holding on to Top Secret by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy for a very long time on my Kindle app and I guess what this is about from the brief summary that I just read is that one of these characters girlfriend wants a threesome and the two boys end up wanting a relationship. So 
I think it sounds pretty fun. I have heard that it's really great from Jessup Books Past Bedtime. So this is what I will be reading for my ebook pick. All right, pull five of six. Oh gosh, sorry, this is taking forever. Okay, I need to read a book with own voice representation. So I think it would be pretty smart to pick one of the books that I am already planning to read and double up on that. So I'm going to be reading How to Be a Normal Person by TJ Klune, and it seems to be about a boy named Gustavo who maybe it isn't a boy, who's probably an adult. An adult named Gustavo who knows that he is not a normal person. Apparently he owns a pet ferret and he reads encyclopedias for his bedtime stories and he just knows he is not very normal but a man named Casey walks into his life and thinks that Gustavo is amazing but Gustavo doesn't think that he deserves Casey so he sets out to be a normal person and I feel like that's super angsty and I am really here for that so I will be reading this one for my own voices pick and for the sixth and hopefully final poll I might not be able to do this one. This is a translated book and I'm not gonna be buying any new books. So let me see if I have any translated books. I was wrong. So I did not know that Frederick Bachman books are translated from Swedish. So I will be reading Beartown for this prompt. And I believe this one is about a hockey town and one of the hockey players is accused of or has committed a rape and it's about that situation and that entire trial I guess for that woman who has come forward with that information so I might be a little bit wrong on that but I have been wanting to read this for a very long time because Mayor Reed always talks about this one she says it's wonderful so this will be my pick for a translated book and it is my sixth and final prompt all right so these five books plus top secret are going to be my tbr jar pulls so if you think i can finish all of these by this month please give me a lion emoji in the comments because lions are my favorite if you don't think i can finish these in the month just don't say anything at all i need the encouragement because i have a lot of reading to do and all I want to do is play sims. If you would like to see if I complete them next month and if I can even move forward on my game or if I have to take a bunch of consequences, stick around. You might want to subscribe to see how this goes because I have a feeling there's going to be a couple of consequences next month. All right, but that is it for my TBR jar for September. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. Let me know below if you have any suggestions for what my reward can be when I finish my game and also what sort of mystery prompt challenges type reading related things I can add for those mystery cards in the comments. I will see you in my next video. Bye!